What if I told you the water you were using for your saltwater aquarium was causing you all of the problems that you're having? Let's go talk about it. If you're new to saltwater aquaria, then you need to know that the parameters of the things inside the water that we keep in our tanks is the most important part of what you're doing in keeping your saltwater aquarium. You're not keeping animals. You're keeping water. If you have good water, the health of the animals will follow. And the OG reefers are going to agree with me down in the comments already. Over the last 25 years of doing this, I have seen it so many times that the water that people are getting from their local fish stores is just not suitable for keeping coral tanks or mixed reef tanks. Now, this is not a slam against local fish stores. That's not the intention of this video. What I'm trying to stress to you is the importance of knowing the parameters and knowing what kind of salt it is that you're getting in your premix from your fish store. And along with that, what kind of filtration they're using and what the total dissolved solids are of the clean, fresh top off water as well. In some cases, the reservoirs that they keep these things in may have not been cleaned for months or even years. I have personally gone to a fish store and brought some clean top off water home that had over 200 TDS in it. And TDS is total dissolved solids. And that's basically 200 of something unidentified that we don't know that's in that water that could cause me an algae issue or a cyanobacteria problem or dinos or diatoms or any number of other things. And if it's a certain kind of thing like copper, it could get rid of all your invertebrates for you. Now, as I said, I don't think anything malicious is going on here, but I just think that sometimes things slip through the cracks. And you as a saltwater aquarist need to make sure that the water you're putting in your tank is high quality and good and clean, which is why I always recommend when you're setting up your tank, spend the money on a four stage or five or six stage, whatever your water needs, RODI unit for your home, and have the ability to mix your salt water at home yourself. In the end, it's gonna come out cheaper for you to do that anyway, rather than getting it from your fish store. And unfortunately, that may take a little bit of a business away from your store, but it's going to be better for your tank in the long run, believe me. Now there are fish stores out there who are absolutely awesome. They're 100% invested in the success of your tank. I've been to them and I love to see it, but unfortunately that's not always the case. I've spoke to one of my followers recently who got some salt water from a local fish store and I will not name who they are, but they were told that this water was suitable and good for keeping corals in a mixed reef tank. But the calcium was down in the 200 range and the magnesium was down in the 800 range. This is not at all suitable or acceptable for this store to be telling this person that this water is good for their tank. That water is good for fish only, not for coral. And this further drives home the point that you need to be asking about the water that you're getting from your fish stores. A good store that has pride in the quality product that they're putting out there for you is not going to have any problems telling you the brand and probably the parameters of the pre-mixed salt water that they have set aside for you to use. And if they won't, myself, I will get in the truck and go find another store. Hey, why don't we do this? Why don't everybody go down into the comments and put the name and location of your trusted fish stores. Let's see where they are and who they are. Having the ability to mix fresh, clean water at home and make clean salt water at home is not good just because of this parameter kind of scenario, but it's also good if you have a problem with your tank. If something happens in your tank on a Friday night and you don't have any salt water on hand to do a water change and the fish store doesn't open until Monday morning, you're going to have a very serious problem on your hands. And I've seen it more than once where that exact scenario took place and somebody was scrounging around trying to get salt water. They're calling a buddy, hey man, can I come pick up 100 gallons of salt water? And you just can't get it in time and your tank unalives itself. It's happened. I've seen it happen to people. Along with this same mindset, you need to be able to test your tank at home. I recommend Salifert and Red Sea test kits, but if you need to know what parameters to test for, this video right here, goes through that for you and i'll see you over there make sure you're testing your water man i'll tell you what